What's up guys, I'm Destiny Phenox Gaming and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna be making a build by using the axe. So the axe right here can do wounding damage. And as you have guessed, I brought savagery with me. So let's just try this build out on Shroud right here. We have taken our tonic, the blitz tonic is still on a high duration. Swiping, oh no, knew it was coming. Okay, let's charge. I was hoping to be able to increase my determination back to level 4 though. So let's try. There we go. Never mind, ah, uh, I hit it. There you go. Wounded hat. Is it here? Or my ears are broken. Okay, boom. Easy. Ouch. Chronovo time. We Okay, it's gonna get angry and it's gonna die soon though. And kaboom. Wounded. Back leg. And it's dead. As you can see, this build is pretty good. Several technical difficulties, but that's fine. So let's just try this build out one more time on another behemoth. And I feel like I want to fight the Stormclaw. Because Axe is a good match with the Stormclaw. So the, the, the determination is actually far from getting full so I'm just going to throw it to it as soon as I got there. And I'm out of tonic. So let's just stack up the determination real fast. Okay. There we go. Alright, so as an axe user, I prefer to hit the behemoth down with discipline or whatnot than hitting the lightning. Because the behemoth will go down longer than oh my god please there we go so the behemoth if you stagger the behemoths with the interrupts they will go down longer than getting hit by their own lightning and it's that as you can see as you can see this build is actually very good so i want to try this build out one more time on another behemoth and the Thunder Deep Thrust is actually at a very low level. I'm level 19, it's level 17, it's called easy now. And if I want to fight another Shroud, then it will be too repetitive. So I'm going to try this build out on the on another behemoth that will spawn. Alright. Bloodshot Shroud it is. So this build here is using Savage 3, so make sure you hit the wounded parts. And Gauss is Bloodshot Shroud. This is giving me goosebumps. So Bloodshot Shroud is actually pretty hard foe. Thank god it's only on 30 each second. So I can level up my determination back to maximum. And since it's an island event, I'm going to buff myself with all the tonics that I have. This will serve as a damage showcase. I myself is not really good at fighting Shroud, the Bloodshot Shroud yet because the flying slamming attack is faster than a normal shroud and it's hard for me to evade through the, that, that attack so let's just take on tonic let's see if we can wreck this behemoth okay let's do the arms is that the arms or is that the back leg
All right. Let's kill this one first. Oops. Ouch. All right, is that? No, I missed. I missed my ass too. All right. There we go. All right, we would want to stack up our determination. There we go. Let's wound the arm. Maybe not. There we go. Back leg two. That's half HP. That's the stagger. And let's throw the axe. Kaboom. And it's dead. As you can see, even Bloodshot Shroud is pretty easy to battle. And yep, I haven't shown you the build yet. The build yet, so let's see the build real before that. Let's claim this. Okay, there we go. So let's check out the build real quick. This build is nuts. Oops, wrong button. And here's the build. Full of this kind of perk. And acidic because this axe is not a wounding type of weapon. So you need to bring either acidic or tactician. But of course, acidic is better because you don't need to evade to activate your core damage to wound damage, just like tactician. But if you bring both, your non-wounding weapon will be able to deal wounding damage, will be able to wound the behemoth faster than just bring it acidic. But for this one, acidic is just fine. So I know some of you would say like acidic at plus three is enough, but I'm quite the perfectionist, so. As always, I would like to have my perk all on plus 6, so here you go, plus 6 acidic. And catalyst here is to increase your attack speed and everything else that you bring. Cunning, pulse and discipline to increase your critical. Predator for your damage and savagery because your weapon here can deal wounding damage, so savagery is a must. And here's the equipment, the time weave, the resikiri. The Malkarian and the Chrono 4 and I'm using Koshai for Astral Light still. I know Discipline decreases your healing by 50% but being able to heal yourself apart from using the, the Healing Tonic is also good. So if you don't want to bring this Koshai's Bloom, Panger Shrine is good, Scorn is also good. Discipline and use the weapon. Grim Onslaught, Overcharge Cylinder and the Edge of Dawn. So as you can see, I can kill Behemoths very fast with this build. Yeah, I did took all of the tonics when I'm fighting the Blood Sword Shroud. But for the other behemoths, I'm only taking the Blitz Tonic. And as you can see, the Stormclaw, the Shroud, also didn't last quite long with this weapon. So one thing you need to take notice of is the Wounded part. Always hit the Wounded part because you're using Savagery, 100% extra damage is very good. So that's all for the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It's free and you can always subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.